and we're back for another episode. In this episode, we're going to be doing the Moonfire Fair seasonal event in Final Fantasy XIV for 2022. And as always, hello from Mifri. So we are here in Limsa Liminsa Upper Decks at 11.13, and we need to talk to Mayaro Mayaro. And the quest is called A Matter of Choice. Mayaro looks eager to regale you about all there is to know of the latest Moonfire Fair. Ah, hello, hello. Just the adventure I was looking for. Feeling the heat? Well, nothing like a good swim in Costa del Sol to cool down. And while you're there, you might as well enjoy the Moonfire festivities. The fair has served to promote the Adventurers Guild in recent years, and I expect plenty of folks will join in the fun this summer. No one will want to miss the exciting show we're putting on. That's right, due to popular demand and the wishes of uh, Master Gigi Rushu himself, we brought back the challenge. Um, intrigued, aren't you? Uh, state your curiosity by speaking with um, Harmiga in Costa del Sol. Cool. All right. Let's go to Costa del Sol. Okay, we made it here. So let's talk to him. Uh, ah, Mifri, here at last. You're here to give the challenge a whirl, aren't you? Uh, that whole king monstrosity erected upon the shore. Oh, is it that jumping puzzle again? Oh, no. So, the opposing fortress that turns grown men into weeping babes, the crucible which forges a fiercest of warriors or spits out their mangled remains. I, the Eortian nimble warrior course. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not a fan of these jumping puzzles. <laughs> Uh, we've had some issues here and there which prevented us from constructing the course anew for a time, but we made it uh, work this year to satisfy the fierce demand of our patrons. It hasn't returned, however. Oh no, it's been updated and refined with a new circuit. I dare say a course reborn. While the new circuit isn't physically demanding, it's no less of a spectacle. We recruited the finest gold saucer technicians and a certain bomb expert to craft so many bombs into the new attraction. It feels like a damned volcano's erupting when they go off. Aye, tis a trial that tests the resolve of fledgling and experienced adventurers alike, um, as all are forced to not only calculate the timing of impeding explosions, but avoid the shock waves that follow them too. If you think you're up to the task, then by all means, show everyone how it's done. Okay, so it's not just against survive the course, you have to do it with the right time as well. Now, you look eager to try your hand at it despite all the risks. And yeah, I don't get the sense that you're underestimating the challenge before you either. Um, it would do the young lad good to see the temperament of a veteran like yourself. Would that he could learn from your example. But that's ah, nothing. Just uh, this talk about the course and all its newfound glory brought to mind a certain worrisome adventurer. Hmm. Uh, look, you wouldn't mind lending me a hand with something, would you? Uh, when you're not busy running the course, naturally. Give me a shout after this if you're interested. Okay, let's talk to him again. So, you'll lend a hand then. Yeah, my gratitude. The matter in question is in regards to a certain you. I suppose he isn't new anymore. But anyway, I want you to act as a model of sorts for a certain young adventurer. He is no stranger to you, of course. Recall a fellow of the name of Rifu Tia. Uh, came to the Mufaya Fair with his little sister, uh, Ramja, before, remember? The lad went and became an adventurer and seems to have some experience under his belt now. Well, to be frank, he's putting on airs. Uh, you better see him for yourself to get the real picture. I saw him heading to the north of the island with his sister earlier. You should be able to find him there. And while he has his issues, there's no doubt in my mind that he has a promising future as an adventurer. I'll leave it to you to decide how you want to go about it. But guide him back onto the path, would you? Cool. All right. Let's, uh, let's find this guy. Okay, we made it to him.
Uh, long time not see, Mifri. I had a feeling we'd meet again. Don't be shy now. Mazja. Um, hello, Mifri. I'm so happy you're here. Today just keeps getting better and better. Uh, since you're here, there's something I want to tell you. Though I've only been an adventurer for a few summers, I've already made a name for myself. Hells, I even have a pair of apprentices. I suppose you'd expect as much for someone of my obvious talent, eh? Anyway, where was I? Alright, my apprentices. Go on, introduce yourselves. So, hello there, friend. The pair of us are just your average, friendly old novice adventurers who wound up taking up an apprenticeship under our mentor here after he saved us from a sticky situation. He's a big fan of yours, by the way. The mentor we respect respects you, so if you really think about it, we ought to respect you too. And anyone who commands that much respect is clearly incredible. It's an honor, miss, truly. Um, I've heard all kinds of amazing rumors about you, Mifri. It is a pleasure to finally make your acquaintance. So I take it you also heard about the challenge and decided to join in the festivities? I won't lie, I'm itching to give the course a go myself. I hear that they even added a new bombastic circuit to it. Though, for a prodigy like me who completed it um, as a novice, uh, the real challenge uh, will be not to fall asleep from boredom. A rising star like me has nowhere to go up, um, after all. Good luck. Uh, you could try, you know, not being cocky as well. You completed the course before. It's good luck. I think there's nothing else to say. So I appreciate the sentiment, but I'll be fine. It'll be easy enough to dazzle the audience. Uh, still, it's an honor to be encouraged by the person I look up to. Thank you. Are you sure you're okay, uh, fool? Uh, you've been acting odd lately. So, um, I am okay. Um, I'm better than ever. Don't you worry one bit, Masha. Um, your big brother is a fully-fledged adventurer now. I'll give you the crowd. Sorry, I'll give the crowd a show and be back before you know it. Uh, from the moment I became an adventurer, I've always looked up to you. There's no one I want witnessing my finest achievement more than you. So if you can spare a moment to watch, please wait for me on the beach. Cool. Cool. Um, it'll be okay, Mazja. It's your brother, after all. He'll pull through, surely. Yes, I'm sure that you have nothing to worry about, my dear. So, you'll come too, won't you? I'll feel better if you're there. Alright, so do we have to do the uh, jumping challenge now? Let's see. Okay, we made it to the destination. So, let's examine. So, do you see my brother? I can't see anything from here. Aha, I sense a Dasmal in distress. Um, fear not, young maiden, for we are here to the rescue. Aha, let the games begin. I, uh, Bedafoin, uh, will humbly serve as herald of the proceedings. And I, Hama Hamaga, um, have been unjustly nominated to assist him. Uh, together, not even the slightest happening shall escape our advert observation. Now then, let us look upon our contestant, the up-and-coming adventurer Tia. With such a daunting trial before him, who knows what could be uh, running through his mind right now. What do those stern blue eyes of yours see, Hamiga? Uh, the lad looks eager to get up and at it, and in terms of physique, he looks to be in fine shape. Uh, that said, I can't help but notice some nervous energy in him as well. Thank you, Omega. Uh, let's wish him the best of luck out. Ah, the contestant has just took off at a run, and is presently making his way to the first jet of water. Uh, 
and he saw through the sky expertly. Wow, just look at that landing. His man did feet indeed. He managed it all without losing his footing. This is proof of his experience as an adventurer. He was, he's well accustomed to moving under pressure or above it, as it were. And now he is faced with a decision that will change the course of his fate. Uh, does he take the tired, sorry, the tried and true path, or try his luck at the new circuit? Uh, which route do you think our sprightly contender will take, Homega? The new circuit requires the contestant to be calm and collected in the face of looming barrage of bombs. Unfortunately, I said much fear in this one. If I were in his shoes, I would pick the old circuit without a second thought. Ah, he's on the move. It seems that he's made this decision. The new circuit. The timing of his movements leave much to be desired, however. Even the slightest moment hesitation could lead to a messy result, and I fear the um, he teetered for too long. Come your eyes, folks. This could get ugly. Um, he managed to dodge the first explosion, and the second, the third, and the... Uh, gods be good. The shockwave of the fourth explosion has sent him flying like a shooting star. So, ladies and gentlemen, even as the seawater assaults his wounds, I regret to inform you that our contestant has been disqualified. No, 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 this is bad. This is really, really bad. Well, there goes our audience. Uh, this seems as fine a place as any to end the commentary. Please go, uh, Ruffle needs your help. Right, I hope you haven't forgotten my request. I'm counting on you. Alrighty, uh, Tia is right over there. So I owe you one, Mifri. Um, ah, lest you all misunderstand, uh, this wasn't a serious attempt. If I really wanted to complete the circuit, I could have done it with my hands behind my back. But I'd hardly be entertaining if I just finished in an instant. There's no drama. Uh, now, when I go back and complete it with ease, the crowd will go wild. Genius, eh? Wait a minute, Ruffle. Uh, is that what you really care about? If so, you're not the person I thought you were, the person I respected. Oh, um, I mean, I'm not just your average adventurer, you know. I need to amaze everyone. So, no, Ruffle, you're wrong. I guess you never understood what we admired about you. I'm sorry, but this is farewell. Yeah, respect is a very important thing. Uh, what, what did I do wrong? Well, you're wearing a skirt for one. <laughs> uh, complete. In each of their own, I suppose. Let's talk to Tia. So, fool me once. Uh, Tia is mired in the depths of despair. Uh, why? What did I do wrong? Um, he's too upset to listen. Uh, maybe you could try to comfort him. You're his hero, um, and if that doesn't work, I don't know what will. Okay, so let's select him. Oh, he's already sucked it. Oh, my bad. Okay, come forward.
Uh, thank you for showing me such kindness, Mifri. I'm still trying to wrap my head around why those two left. Is it because I failed the course? Because I look pathetic? Oh, certainly, that's not it at all. Really? It's not because I look pathetic? Uh, say, Mifri, do you have any idea why? It's because you failed miserably. You weren't taking it seriously. You tried to hide from your mistakes. Hide from a mistake? I don't quite understand, but it sounds wise. You didn't look like you were taking it seriously, Fluff. Um, I wasn't taking it seriously, so what? Even if I had, I would have failed all the same. I thought if I had a... If I did it on purpose, then maybe... Ugh. You would admire someone who gives up before they've even started. The brother I look up to will always does his best, no matter how he looks or what others think of him. If you can't understand that, maybe I'll try the course myself and show you what I mean. Uh, my, that is some remarkably... Sorry, remarkable gumption you have there, little miss. Alas, I'm afraid children may not, under absolutely any circumstances, participate in the competition. Um, I hope you don't mind, but I overheard your conversation. My opinion? You're a pathetic excuse of an adventurer. Just awful. You're right. You taught me so much. Yeah, I put on such a miserable performance. Everyone must think that I'm so very pitiful. Uh, just listen to yourself, lad. You want to know what your problem is? Vanity. You lost sight of what's truly important. Think back. Try to recall what Hamager and I taught you. Uh, what it was that you admired about Mifri in the first place. So I think I finally understand. I was so focused on trying to impress my apprentices that I didn't fully commit myself to overcoming the challenge and stop being an adventurer in so doing. I became a coward instead. I betrayed their trust and now they've seen me for what I truly am. There's no way I could make it up to them. So what if you tried the course again but took it seriously this time? I bet those two would watch. Again, but I've never actually succeeded. If I were to fail once more, I'd lose their respect forever. No matter if you fail or succeed, what matters is that you try. So, Bifri, thank you. I nearly made the same mistake all over again. This time, I promise you, I will do my best. Yeah, don't be afraid to fail. Now, I'm so sorry to ask more of you when you've already done so much, but can I ask you to serve as my inspiration once more? If possible, I would like you to go through the course ahead of me. Uh, seeing you test your metal uh, would rekindle my aspirations of becoming a great adventurer. Please help me to reclaim that dream. Let me follow in your footsteps. Okay. I'm doing this. It means that the world to me, Mifri. I will follow after you with everything I have. Alright, so let's speak to this person. So I appreciate you looking out for a ruffle like this. If you're ready to go, the, the jet of water yonder is roaring in anticipation of your arrival. Uh, should complete the Eorzean Nimble Warrior course prove difficult, seek out a fair adventurer for assistance. Interesting, interesting. Alright, let's see how we do. Whee! Which course do I take? Uh... 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 Uh. Okay, I'm going to take this slow and gentle.
Okay, so far so good. Uh, okay. I mean, skills. So both and kept me abreast of the situation. After seeing the way you've carried yourself through the course so far, Ruffles got to be fired up. Uh, you're already at the halfway point, so it's not like you need to hear it from me, but good luck. To complete the Orzean Warrior course proved difficult, seek out the Fair Adventurer for assistance. Okay. I wonder if the, we'll get, like, halfway. Ah. Okay, so we have to go down here, I suppose. Uh... God. I... I never got to the top of the... What's it called? Oh god. The um, tower in Kugane. I, I've tried many times. Uh. Alright, we done? Congratulations on making it to the end. Ah, I should mention that I've heard about the situation from Ruffle. He pursued you the entire time, never giving up despite the fear in his eyes. Even now, hey, look behind you. Come on, adventurer. Do not waver. You can do this. I don't want to distract him by calling him an adventurer. I put pressure where it's not needed. Nice. Oh, I did it, Mifri. I really did it. Thank you for leading the way. So, now that I've made it to the end, I suddenly feel lightheaded. Forgive me, I will return after I've had a moment to catch my breath. Would you mind relaying the good news to Aja? Awesome. Alright, so Maja is where? Yeah, she's over there. So, let's catch up to her. Okay, we made it back to his sister. So, ah, you're back. How did it go? Uh, Birdafoin and Hamager were comment trading, but I want to hear about it from you. So he did it. He really did it. I always believed Fol could, but he never believed it himself. I'm so happy. So, Fol, Mifri told me everything. I'm so proud of you. I didn't do much. I just followed after her, really. Still, it felt good to try and finally succeed at something. So, please excuse us for interrupting, Ruffle. Do you have a moment? Uh, we judge you too quickly and too harshly. It was only when we saw you making your way through the course that it dawned on us how wrong we've been. That's why... Uh, you don't have to finish that sentence. I'm the one in the wrong here, after all. And I'm very sorry, both of you. Um, I let my desire for recognition cloud my judgment, and I lost sight of myself in the process. It's a little wonder you both reacted the way you did. Uh, that's why I'm starting over. This time I will not waver from the path. Nay, I shall follow wherever it leads, as a true adventurer should. Uh, with that said, do you think that you could forgive me? Um, I'll be honest, you were a dismal sight um, up there at first. 
looking as if you might collapse any moment. But you didn't. You pushed through like a true champion. And now we are keen to see how far you'll go. Uh, just like when we first met you. Aye, that's why we want you to forgive us for losing faith. Instead of believing in you, we uh, like we should have. Given the circumstances, I understand if you say no, but would you consent to being our mentor once again? Uh, like you even have to ask, I couldn't be happier to have you both at my side. Huzzah! So, thank you for bringing Foof back to his senses. Me three. Um, if you hadn't, these three never would have made up, and I still would be really sad. So, thank you so much. Um, I think we'll be okay now, so maybe you can do that report thing that Fulf, um always talks about. I don't really get it, but it seems important. And I d uh, don't you worry about Fulf. Um I'll be watching him carefully. Cool. All right, so we can finish by talking to Amager, which is just just over there. We'll see the rewards that we get. So I could roughly see what happened from here, but I appreciate it if you filled in the blanks. Uh, so the lad finally came to his senses in the end, eh? And he made up with those greenhorns while he was at it too. Uh, you did well, Mifri. I was right to count on you. Uh, with that, he truly, um, he's truly made his first step to, as a proper adventurer. And bet, yeah, I don't have to feel anxious about leaving the three of them to their own devices anymore. Uh, speaking of adventurers, I owe you a reward, don't I? Please, take this. Uh, you've more than earned it, and do try to enjoy the Moonfire Fair while it's around. Cool. So we'll get the Summer Sunset outfit. Okay. So, as always with seasonal events, there's more to do. There's probably going to be dailies, collectibles to get from the vendor. So let's see what the vendor has for sale. Okay, so bonfire. So let's get that. And then a bunch of stuff. A bunch of like fireworks and stuff like that, which I'm fairly sure I've got an abundant of. But I can check. And the outfit that I just received as well. So, anyway guys, that's it for this episode. Thank you for watching, and as always, goodbye from me, and goodbye from Mifri. Bye guys.